Hey guys, it's Akardis, and in today's deck review, I'm going to be reviewing the Playwright Standard Playing Cards in Blue. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so this deck was actually given to me by Card Freak 1707 he's one of my good, good, great, why do they, they stutter there? He is one of my good, great friends, and um, basically he got me this deck when he brought a brick of them, and he gave me um, one, um, because he's a good friend. Um, so pretty cool. So, I've got the red one, and that's what I showed him, and then since then he's become addicted to them, because I really like these, I'm going to New York next month, so I'll be doing a little bit of a vlog when I'm over there for the week. But, um, is there a quick question, if you guys are in New York, where is a good place to go for cards? I'm going to be near Central Park, so let me know. Any of my New York viewers or people that have gone to New York, where should I go and get some cards? Or is there like a Walgreens or a Walmart or something? I'm not too sure how New York is. I've never been. I've only been to Florida. So, let's get on to this. So, first off, it has on the tuck case a white border going round with a nice checker design going playwright standard playing cards with the four pips there. And then that's your bottom, it has easy to shuffle um, linen finish. Now, what I really dig about this is these were the replacements for the studs in Walgreens. Um, so, every time you walk in, they're like, welcome to Walgreens, and that's literally every single time. Even if they're serving, they will shout, welcome to Walgreens, to that person who walks through the door. In the UK, you walk through a shop door and they don't look at you. They don't even want to look at you. It's probably because I'm ginger. But on the other side, as you can see, it has playwright standard playing cards. And on the other side as well, it has playwright standard playing cards. My camera's not focusing, but that doesn't matter. We have a barcode and some corporate information just there. And then we have playwright on top with a custom playwright seal. We have the cool face. Look at that. It's a nice little face there with the simple back design with just lines going through. That's literally it. But it's simple, which is key. Simple is key. That's what I like. No jibber jabber on there. That was a Mr. T line there. And then you get the deck itself. Now this is what I like. It's simple, plain, cheap, but works perfectly. Just like the studs. But now they go for a ridiculous amount of money and possibly these. Um, that These are awesome. So first off, you receive the Jokers. So we have Joker Joker. As you can see, they're simple. It just says Joker Joker. And we have a Joker dancing going like, hooray, I'm here. And then we have Pips flying across with the different colors. There is a blue and a red version for those. Then we move on to the cards you receive. Now these are Walgreens cards. Now I'm not too sure if these are USB-CC. They do feel like it, but it says, I'm sure it must be some USB-C, but it's a um, Walgreens deck. So I'm a bit confused, but they promote the World Poker Tour deck. Um, so I'm sure it is printed by USB-CC, but there's nothing on the box that states that. So there's the information there, just some green stuff. Now, most decks that are printed by USPCC will have some information um, where it's printed, and this one says it is distributed by Walgreens Co., but it doesn't say where it's printed, but the barcode states it's a USPCC deck. So I'm a bit confused where it's printed. If someone could let me know, that would be brilliant. Now, the back design, as you can see, has a white border going around with a dark blue, which is a mirrored back as well with the checkered diamond design going around in the back design, which is awesome. We're going to move on to the Ace. The Ace is pretty cool, quite a chunky Ace with Playwright just in the centre there. And then it has a code there which I think ruins it a little bit. Like, why do you need that code? Who cares about 3814 minus T3127? Maybe it's the batch number, no one cares. But we're going to move on. Now we see we've got like a neat kind of the Arco pips. Obviously it's not, but it's like they're kind of like the Arco pips. And it goes the whole way through with these black pips, which are just quite cool. They're quite simple. It's a really good deck for magic though. Then you get to the royalty, as you can see, they do look like the stud deck, which is kind of like the replica of this. And you have the Jack Queen King with a nice colour to them as well. And then you get the diamonds. As you can see, the diamonds go the whole way through with the beautiful pips, and it goes the whole way through. Then we get to the Jack Queen King for the diamonds, and as you can see, they are really nice as well. Quite simple, not a lot to talk about those. We even have the same for the clubs, the royalty are quite nice. And then you move on to the rest of the clubs. You get the hearts as well, and they are standard, and that's pretty much it. There's no need to go into it too much, because it's a simple deck. Like, what is the point? There's no point, it's a simple deck. But what I like is it still handles brilliantly. 
even though it's a cheap deck, like it cost me, I think, two dollars or something like that. It's not expensive, um, and I really want to pick some more of these up. But the way they handle, just for a cheap deck, this is an alternative to a bike, I would have to say. Do you hear that? That is the phone interrupting this video. Do you know what? I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to pick that up. Hang on. As I was saying, my granddad has just, he just rang, so we'll move back on to this. So first off, as the deck does handle really well and it is kind of a replica to bikes in the way that this will replace, what the hell happened there? But it's quite a nice deck in the fact of it's a good handling. Like It does spread quite well, but it is quite sticky at first, and I have to admit that. But if you're just doing, say for example, just a card production, which is actually quite easy to do this deck, which is awesome. That's why I really like it. Um, but another thing is you can do other things with this. So you don't need to just be limited to be doing one particular thing with this. It is a really awesome deck to get. And I have to say, it is a cool deck, but I don't know if it's gonna if they last much long for stock. I have got the red ones, they've worked very well, um, but I'm not too sure. I could when I went there, the blue ones weren't even there, so I don't know if these are new. Um, but my two thousand, I've got the ones the the red version of the playwrights, which are 2011. These are 2012 from the bottom, but I'm not too sure if they came out. I'm not too sure. But all around, this is a beautiful deck of cards. I recommend picking this up. It's cheap, friendly. And affordable. You can get a brick of these for only $30 off eBay, which isn't expensive for a deck that's cheap and I think it's printed by USB-CC. I have no idea. It's got the air pockets, but that's all I know. But that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I didn't want to be too serious today because I am having a pretty good day. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. A quick idea. I want to quickly ask you guys an idea. I have an idea, okay? This is my idea. I'm going to come down right here. How about, I'm going to sit down here, how about, I, I, want to, I want to do a newsletter, and most people, you know, they don't know what a newsletter is, well, you do, but I was thinking, why not have like a little letter where you guys sign up to an email, and there's like, a, every two weeks, there's like a newsletter that's sent out, and all you do is if you want what, if you want it, um, you sign up, and then every two weeks, you get a thing with like a discount to some magic shops, um, the top deck of the week, and what's been going on with the channel, and also some cardistry tips from like Card Freak and stuff, Andrew, and a few other magicians as well. So, what do you think, really? It's just an idea. Um, if you guys let me know, it'll be brilliant. Do you think I should do like an email thing so when a new video comes out, you get maybe the video sent to you pr like prior the video coming out so you know? What do you guys think? Comment down below. Also, what place should I go in New York to pick up some playing cards? Let me know. I'll be staying right near Ground Zero, so let me know. That's it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.